In Spyro 2, there are a couple tricky points. Uh, one is the Fracture Hills level where you have to save Spinner's friend. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you a really cool move on how to unleash your friend from behind the door. Hold down the square button to reach this super speed power up right here because the object here is to follow this pathway and through the various doors and you can't stop or get hit once because if you do, you lose the super speed power up and you have to start over again. Go through that portal there and over this little narrow bridge and jump at the last second right here and break down the door and her friend will be right there for you. Once you save Spinner's friend, you'll get an orb. Now that you've seen it on video, good luck. In the level Papu's Pyramid of Crash Team Racing, there's a hairpin turn at the end of the level that you can totally bypass by using this shortcut. Take a look. Keep in mind you're either going to need an Aku Aku or Uka Uka mask or a turbo boost to make it. Once you get the mask, save it for here. <laughs> Right at the end of the wall, activate your mask and do a 180 turn over to the other side of the track. So there it is. In my job, I get a lot of calls from customers on Siphon Filter, level 14, the Stronghold Catacombs. In this level, you have to follow a scientist to the cell where Fagan is being held. And there are a few things you must not do in this level if you're going to complete it successfully. You gotta only use your silenced weapons in this level. It's very important to go down the left-hand corridor here. There's a right-hand corridor, but it'll just lead you around in circles. Then you set about following the scientist. One of the most important things about this level is to let the scientist get a good head start on you because you're gonna trigger certain enemies along the path. If you have to take those enemies out and the scientist can see what's going on, you're gonna lose the level because he'll be alerted to your presence. So as you see here, I'm taking out the guards while the scientist is safely out of, uh, out of sight and out of earshot. Now this is where a lot of people slip up on this level. The scientist stops and talks to two guards down at the end of the hall. We'll look here through the sniper rifle viewer. It's very important that these two guards are not killed. I repeat, not killed. If you kill these two guards, just about anything you do after that, it won't matter. You're going to lose. The scientist remains down at the end of the hall and is close enough that the murdered guards do in fact alert him to your presence. Even if it doesn't end the level immediately, you will not be able to end the level when you reach the door. So instead of killing the two guards, we're going to sneak down the hallway. And I do stress sneak. You must hold down the X button and move slowly. And these guys aren't too bright. They're a little drowsy because you can get this close and then just go down the right-hand corridor and they never see you. And those guards won't give you any more trouble as long as you don't double back this way. Through the rest of the level, you're just going to have to take out anybody in your path, quietly, without the scientist around. And this guard here, around the corner, the last guard you're going to need to take out in this level, can be very tricky. What I always try to do is peer around the corner to get him on my radar. You can now see the green dot moving towards me on my radar, and I can level my gun and take him out as he comes around the corner. And if everything goes right, you'll never even see the scientist at the door, because it'll fade to black, and you'll see a movie clip. This is a cool move for Siphon Filter, level 15, Farcom Warehouse. In this level, you have to locate viral carriers and tag them. And I talk to a surprising number of people who can't seem to figure out how to tag the viral carriers. When you get the first checkpoint, when you find Ericsson, you do find a viral scanner. To locate the bodies, equip your viral scanner, and then go press the L1 button, so you'll look through the viral scanner. Now, there's a body. We've located it. But as far as tagging it goes, you absolutely, positively must turn off the scanner and then go to where you saw the body, stand on top of the crate, and simply press the triangle button, thereby tagging the body, obtaining a checkpoint, and one of the objectives of the game. And that's how you scan a viral carrier in Siphon Filter, level 15, Farcom Warehouse. Today I'm going to show you one of the coolest areas in Twist of Metal 4. The level is Neon City. There's a really cool secret area in this level that you can get a lot of weapons and power-ups, but it is hard to get to. Let me show you how it's done. Basically what you want to do is look for the train tracks and follow it all the way up the tunnel, just like this. Collect the power-ups on the way up.
When you get to the top, slow down a little bit, collect the health, and turn around. Look for that little warp point and just go forward. See this ramp right here? What you want to do is you want to turbo off this ramp into the room on the other side. Now that you're in this hidden room, what you want to do is you want to face this wall right here. Move forward and on top of the helicopter launch pad. Now the helicopter will pick you up. We'll start taking you to a hidden area. On your way, shoot all the enemies below you. Once the helicopters drop you off, move forward into the secret area. Collect all the weapons and power-ups here. When you've gotten all the power-ups, go to the jump pad to exit the secret area. And that's how it's done. The cool move I'm going to show you today is the corkscrew turn from Laguna Seca on Gran Turismo 2. Basically, the corkscrew turn is one of the hardest turns to execute. What you need to do is approach it towards the right-hand side or more the outside lane. You will slow down, shift it to a lower gear, and drop down. And you can cut a little bit without being penalized for taking that turn. So give it a shot. <laughs> 